how to create bootable USB from dozens of ISO files containing different versions of operating systems. Vento is a lightweight and portable tool that provides a quick way to make bootable USB drives from ISO files. You don't need to format the USB drive over and over, you just need to copy the ISO files at a time and Vento will give you a boot menu to select them. Vento is a new software application for Linux and Windows. It allows you to place the actual ISO images on the USB device so that you may boot from them directly. The program supports multiple ISO images that you can place on a USB device and uses Grub as the boot manager. Vento comes with both legacy and UEFI secure boot support. The application is available for Microsoft Windows and Linux. It has a graphical user interface on Windows only. On Linux you'll need to use it from the command line. And it has been tested with more than 260 ISO files. You can find the link of the list of 260 ISO files in the description box below of this video. Now let's move on to the implementation part of creating multi-boot USB. I'm using the Ubuntu 20.04 Linux system. Download Vento a binary file for Linux. There's a Linux file and a Windows file. You can find the downloaded Vento a binary file in the download folder. Extract Vento a files. To extract the Vento a files from the downloaded tar archive. You can do the same either by double clicking on the archive or running the command. I'm here running the command. First of all I'm creating a folder on desktop in which I will extract the tar archive file. Command to create a folder on desktop is on your screen. Here as you can see on desktop, folder is created with the name Ventoy, in which I'm going to extract the tar archive file, and the command to extract the tar archive file, is as follow. LS command with no option is used to list files and directories, as you know tar archive file is in the download folder. So to enter in download folder type the following command. Here is the tar archive file in download folder. Now our tar archive file is got extracted. Let's see it by opening the folder on desktop. Now enter in the folder on desktop in which archive files got extracted. As you can see here inside the Ventoy folder there is one more folder inside which you will find the shell script. Now time to plug in and detect the mounted USB flash drive. Here I have connected my USB flash drive with the system. Once you plug in your USB device, run the following command to locate and get the USB device name on Linux file system.
enter the account login password here. You can also use the following command instead, or use gparted if you prefer a GUI in a terminal. Sandisk Ultra is my USB flash drive model. Find the USB device name by looking under disk. So in my case, it's as on screen. Select and copy the name. Now, to install Ventoy on a USB flash drive, run the shell script. For that first enter inside the folder in which you will find the shell script. This is the folder in which you will find the shell script. And this is the shell script. Now, to install Ventoy on a USB flash drive, run the shell script as a root user passing option and device name as an argument. You will be asked to confirm if the USB device name is correct twice. Type Y for yes and press the enter key to continue. Now that Vento is installed on your USB drive, you can create a bootable USB drive by simply copying some ISO files onto the USB. No matter if they are Linux distribution ISOs or Windows 10, 8, 7 ISO files. For Windows download the installation package, to use it, extract the downloaded Ventoy.zip file, then launch the Ventoy2disk.exe executable. Select the device and click install Ventoy comes with a graphical user interface so using it is pretty straightforward.
that's it for this video and this part is the testing part of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe to this channel for interesting tech videos. Please hit the bell icon for notification of my new videos. Also hit the like button and share this video with your friends and comment it would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials you can also make request for new tutorials. See you soon.